now on Coast TV News. It's another yellow alert day for rain. Heavy at times today into tonight. I'll track it on Futurecast and talk about another rainy system for the weekend. That's coming up next. Near sweep of Super Tuesday, we look at the big night for both Donald Trump and President Biden, and it appears we are heading towards a rematch of the 2020 election. She was like a mother to me. Um, she was always a happy person. A grieving family after a tragic crash, how those who love the victim plan to remember her. Not a smooth state of the state. The interruptions by protesters at Delaware Governor John Carney's speech. This is Coast TV News Today. It is Wednesday, March 6, 2024. Good morning. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, everybody. I'm Paige Marley. Thanks for being up with us during our 5 o'clock hour. Yeah, late yesterday mm -hmm. afternoon, ever so briefly, Paige. Yeah. Did see a little bit of sun. It came out for just a moment. I was like, that's the sun. I hadn't seen that in a while. <laughs> and then we're like, bye. See you next it was time. Pretty much, that was pretty much it. Yeah, we had to say hello and goodbye. Bob just mentioned a minute ago that, yes, it is another yellow alert day. So let's bring in first alert meteorologist Bob Trihe now. Bob, at least we're one day close closer to no more rain. <laughs> that's good. That's, you know, that's the uh, the glass half full. It's uh, take there, Paige, for sure. And I did see the sun for about 32 seconds yesterday as well. And then it quickly went away. We've got the cloudy skies this morning and the rain is knocking out the door already moving into the southern tip of Del Marva, Cape Charles, and then just south of Chincoteague. You're going to be in the rain soon as that extends farther to the south. So one area of rain moving out of North Carolina into Virginia right now. But the main low pressure is back across Alabama and all this mess is heading our way as we go through the day out the door temperatures in the 40s to right around 50 degrees 52 in Salisbury 48 in Georgetown right now winds are coming in out of the southeast and we do have some fog limiting visibility in Ocean City three quarters of a mile there a mile and a quarter in Salisbury and two in Georgetown but that will tend to lift once the rain moves in and boy does it move in steady to heavy at times late morning could see some really heavy rain and that rain continues essentially all day long right on into the evening hours could see some flooding on the roads ponding on the roads and uh, flooding and poor drainage areas as that rain picks up in intensity. More on the yellow alert day and what to expect with the weekend system coming up in a few minutes. Hey Bob, breaking news this morning. President Biden and former President Trump seem to be barreling toward a historic rematch this after racking up wins on Super Tuesday. Nikki Haley's hope to stay in the race is now fading, but there may be a glimmer of hope for her within the state of Vermont. Bree Jackson shows us how the results of yesterday's primaries impacted the candidates. Former President Trump further expanding his delegate lead over his Republican rival Nikki Haley, picking up decisive wins on Super Tuesday. They uh, call it Super Tuesday for a reason. This is a big one. Haley did win one state, Vermont. She did not make an appearance last night, nor address if she will remain in the race. Her supporters hope so. I think she's just what we need in this country. I love her message. Trump is inching closer to clinching the GOP nomination, setting up a rematch with President Biden. Our cities are being overrun with migrant crime, and that's Biden migrant crime. The president continues to remain the favorite on the Democratic side. Biden even beat his top challenger, Minnesota Congressman Dean Phillips, in his own district. We got to stick with Joe and his team, and they're doing the right thing. But concerns remain about the president's low approval ratings. Some voters expressed frustration with his handling of the Israel-Hamas war. It's making me not want to vote for Joe Biden, honestly. Um, I'm thinking of going third party because of it. Other Americans are not happy with their main options. I don't like Trump's uh, uh, approach to people, how negative he is and, and how, uh, how he treats others and uh, some of his antics. It's such a divided country, I'm tired of it being divided. I'd rather be somewhere in the middle. Both Trump and Biden have more than half of the delegates needed to secure their party's nomination. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. Both President Biden and former President Trump set to hold events in Georgia this weekend. That state holds primaries next Tuesday. We have new information about Delaware's voting laws. The State House of Representatives has introduced an amendment to the Delaware Constitution that would allow for a 10-day early voting period. 
This is in response to last month's Superior Court decision that ruled early voting in general elections as unconstitutional. The plaintiffs in the case say it was about the policy, not about the policy, but how the policy was enacted. In fact, one of the plaintiffs in the case was Senate Minority Leader Republican Gerald Hawker. He is a sponsor of this amendment in that chamber, along with Republican Senator Brian Pettyjohn of Central Sussex County and Republican Representative Jeff Holosky of Longneck, Angola area of District 4. He is a co-sponsor. Healthcare costs, climate change, and job openings were just some concerns brought up in Governor Carney's final State of the State address. But others in attendance had some other issues they wanted to address, as he was interrupted by chance during his speech. Carney says that healthcare makes up $2 billion in the state's budget this year. He talked about climate change solutions like electric vehicle regulations and offshore wind in Delaware's future. The governor says 20,000 jobs were created in the last two years. He was talking about how the budget continues that growth when those interruptions happened. Audio from the stream was cut, but according to people who were there, it was calls for a ceasefire in Gaza and a pro-Palestine propaganda. As the saying goes, a good job solves a lot of problems. On my first day in office, I signed an executive order to rethink our approach to economic development. And together, we created the Delaware Prosperity Partnership. And we have leaders of that effort that are with us today. By every measure, it's been a success. Carney also mentioned how Delaware began negotiations with offshore wind in December. He says that industry could also help the state with workforce development and dredging projects. New information from the Indian River School District firing back after former Sussex Central Principal Dr. Bradley Layfield issued his closing arguments fighting his suspension and termination. This was following a lawsuit centered around a meme. The meme created from a video of a school fight where former student Anaya Harmon's breast was exposed uncensored. Then on Monday, Layfield's lawyer outlined 10 charges made by the district that he says are either unproven or denied. But now the district says, quote, this case is ending where it began, with Dr. Layfield repeating narratives that are unsworn and unsupported. The district previously alleged that Layfield had a history of inappropriate behavior and was disciplined for that. Layfield has denied it. A decision by Judge William Carpenter regarding Layfield's termination is expected any day now. Delaware State Police are investigating a deadly crash involving a bicyclist that happened in Lewis early yesterday. According to police, a truck was traveling eastbound on Route 24 just west of Mulberry Knoll Road. Police say during that time, a bicyclist entered the eastbound lane and into the path of that truck. Troopers say this resulted then, the truck hitting the cyclist. They say the cyclist was a 58-year-old woman from Lewis who did die at the scene. Police say the truck driver, a 60-year-old Salisbury man, did not get hurt during that crash. A Guatemalan family in Georgetown grieving after one of its members died in a car crash last Thursday morning. This accident happened at the intersection of Bullpine Road and Shortley Road. Delaware State Police say a Honda Civic did not stop at a stop sign and drove right into the path of a Volvo container truck. Police say the Honda driver was 34-year-old Maria Niz Chilel. She died at the scene. Her passenger, a 29-year-old woman from Georgetown, remains in serious but stable condition. And we spoke to members of the family, and they shared how Ms. Chalau will be remembered. She was like a mother to me. Um, she was always a happy person. She, every time we would do something as family, she would always say yes. She would never say no. Um, we'll, we'll miss her every day. Ms. Chalau is survived by four children, the youngest being just seven months old. Her family wants to transport Ms. Chalau's body to Guatemala. Delaware State Police continues to investigate this car crash. And for more details on this entire story, you can visit our website, coasttv.com. The Delaware Attorney General's office has finalized a plea agreement with Salvatore Seeley, the former health and wellness director at Camp Rehoboth. The plea agreement is related to the ongoing financial fraud case that started in September of 2021. Camp Rehoboth says Seeley left this role that year after the organization discovered financial irregularities. And according to the plea agreement, Seeley will plead guilty to theft of over $50,000. He has also agreed to make restitution of over $176,000. The state anticipates a sentence that includes two years in prison with sentencing scheduled for April 5th. Coast TV News reached out to Seeley for a comment, but we have not heard back from him. 
Change may be coming to Bethany Beach as the town prepares for its fiscal year 2025 budget. If approved, the budget plan will start on April 1st and end on March 31st of next year. Town plans to spend over $13 million. It's a little bit more than last year. And according to the town, part of the plan includes raising the cost of trash services to help pay for things like better wages for workers and a new trash truck. There's also money set aside for fixing streets, adding new technology and other town improvement projects. A public meeting for the proposed plan is set for next week, March 11th, before a final decision is made on March 15th. Rehoboth Beach has submitted an application to the state that would allow the city to install a living shoreline along Silver Lake at the end of Scarborough Avenue Extended. The city says the project purpose is to stabilize the existing erosive shoreline in the area. So if you don't know, severe shoreline erosion is often caused by strong ocean waves, rising sea levels, and human activities like construction, which remove natural barriers and allow the water to wash away the land more easily. Comments on the living shoreline are due to Denrec by March 19th. Well, we're just getting started this morning, Matt. Coming up, Paige, building bigger garages. It's a possibility in Ocean City. We'll tell you why town officials are discussing this change. Also ahead, regulating invasive plants in Milton. We'll tell you the change that was voted down would have built on a change to state law that took place two years ago. And pedestrian safety project. We have details on what is taking place in Dewey Beach. All that and more as Coast TV News Today continues. For over 35 years, Penny Smith Funeral Home has been the choice for families throughout Maryland and Virginia. Our focus is you and your family. A personal service that allows you time to grieve and heal properly when you need it most. We offer pre-need planning, cremation services, funeral and memorial services, simple to elaborate celebrations of life, receptions, and more. With multiple locations on Delmarva, there's a Benny Smith Funeral Home near you, on call and available to help. Hey moms, you know those unforgettable face palms? Those moments that leave us both laughing and sighing. They're not just mishaps, they're our shared stories. Share your unique mom moments with us. Go to coastlife.com slash mom. Bright yellow dandelions, a clear signal that the time for prevention is now, for crabgrass and clover are soon to follow. Hillside Lawn Service has been making lawns around the Chesapeake healthier and weed-free for over 30 years. They don't mow it, they grow it. Hillside certified agronomists test your soil, apply exactly what it needs, and nothing it doesn't. Their high-efficiency formulas help protect our waterways. Switch to Hillside now and get $25 off their annual maintenance program. Call Hillside Lawn Service for your free assessment. On Wednesday, May 15th, vote for your favorite chef at the 10th anniversary celebration, Top Chef of the Culinary Coast event to benefit Meals on Wheels Lewis Rehoboth. The fun begins at 6 p.m. at Ivy and Dewey Beach when you'll enjoy live music and feast on the area's best culinary creations and local spirits. Get your tickets online at mealsonwheelslr.org or call Meals on Wheels at 302 645-7449. Ding dong! What do you want for lunch? And one of his most looked up words was riz, which is slang for charisma. But if you have to look it up, you ain't got it. Sort of a murky start to our Wednesday. Here's our Bay Health Cam, Dover 48. You can see eh, a little bit of fog and haze out there as the clouds are thickening up. We've got rain moving on to the southern tip of Del Marva, and that's advancing to the north. You can see it just south of Chincoteague, and that will continue to surge to the north as we have this area of rain extending down into the Carolinas with the main low pressure back across Alabama, and all that is heading our way. Out the door, temperatures in the 40s and 50s. Make sure the kids have the umbrella and the rain gear. That Rain will be stomping down heavy at times. It develops this morning off to school 49 and then around 52 heading home with a steady to heavy rain. More drawbridge maintenance has been scheduled in Rehoboth Beach. DelDot says crews will work on the maintenance at the Rehoboth Avenue drawbridge on March 13th. Work will begin there around 10 a.m. Dewey Beach is planning to make roads safer for pedestrians. Town officials say they are working with DelDot to put in new upgrades, including adding a curb bump out upgrading driveways and entrances to make them ADA compliant and adding new signs on the roads and more. The town says these improvements are set to begin in the winter season. Target soon launching a new paid membership that offers same day delivery. The retailer announced its program called Target Circle 360 on Tuesday. 
It includes unlimited free same-day delivery for orders over $35, as well as free two-day shipping. It also promises delivery in, get this, as little as an hour. Bowflex announced Tuesday it's filed for bankruptcy. The nearly four-decade-old company is best known for commercials that were a late staple of late-night television in the 1990s. Bowflex blamed its bankruptcy on the, quote, post-pandemic environment and persistent macroeconomic headwinds. Well, still ahead this morning, Milton voting down a code change relating to invasive plants. We'll tell you which plants are at the front of that now denied legislation. And we do have a foggy start for some, especially across Maryland. Spice Brothers can looking pretty socked in with the fog. 51 in Salisbury. That fog will lift as the rain develops. It's another yellow alert day for that rain. Heavy at times today. And yes, more rain into the weekend too. I'll time it out on future cast in two minutes. Draper Media seeks a detail-oriented overnight operations technician. This crucial role involves monitoring and managing over-the-air and content, plus quality control. Successful candidates are proactive problem solvers with knowledge in broadcasting systems like Grass Valley Ignite and Sony ELC. This position requires night, early morning, and weekend shifts. Apply today at DraperMediaJobs.com. Draper Media is an equal opportunity employer. Mark your calendars for Runway, a formal style fashion show, Sunday, April 21st at the Rehoboth Beach Convention Center. Prepare to be dazzled by stunning looks from Rehoboth's finest boutiques, live music and entertainment, plus champagne and hors d'oeuvres. Tickets are $50 and are available now. Treat yourself to a fun and stylish evening you won't soon forget. For more information, visit Rehoboth Beach Main Street's Facebook page. everybody good morning welcome to today every day we are adding to the star power in our studio the biggest names only on today you guys are pretty good today <laughs> stick around y'all these guys are going to be back we work here now we're coming in this early right we got olivia rodrigo we're just getting started folks this is scarlett she would like to direct the show can we go to commercial break now everything and everyone you're talking about only on today Dan and Cher here as our first duo coaches. Two, it's a lot better than one. Boys. Oh my goodness. They're in a duo. Let's go! But I have a three hat. <laughs> this is not fair. I need a partner to help me. Unbelievable. Let's unplug this thing. Big team legend! That is so distracting. The Voice, all new Monday and Tuesday on NBC and Peacock. Watch for the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. We're approaching 518, and in the middle of the screen, we're going to get a live look here of Ocean City. And, Bob, as we look at that, that is something uh, I think a lot of people have to deal with this morning. We're starting to see signs of fogs in many places in our coverage area. Yeah, you know, we've been talking about this, Matt. The yellow alert again in effect for today. We've got the rain on the way, but at ahead of the rain, we are dealing with the fog. So a couple of weather hazards today. The thickest is across Ocean City right now. Three quarters of a mile, a mile and a quarter in Salisbury and a mile and a half in Georgetown. But once the rain moves in and becomes steady, the fog tends to lift. So that will be the case as we go through the morning. But until then, it will be pretty foggy as the clouds continue to increase. We have the fog and here comes the rain coming right up the peninsula and we were looking at Cape Charles in the rain the bridge tunnel is rainy up towards Chincoteague and Crisfield this rain continues to advance to the north pretty rapidly and it extends down into Norfolk Elizabeth City and uh, towards the Outer Banks of North Carolina and all this rain is headed our way but that's only a little piece of the system because the main low pressures across Alabama look at this huge shield of rain through the Carolinas and Tennessee Valley so all of this is coming our way as we go into this afternoon and tonight out the door this morning make sure you have your umbrella and dress a little uh, warmly because we're looking at temperatures in the 40s and low 50s winds pretty light coming out of the southeast we have the fog that will tend to lift as our rain moves north here's 8 30 on future cast temperatures in the 40s that rain steady to maybe heavy at times as we go through the morning into the early afternoon watch for ponding on the roads flooding in poor drainage areas 50s by this afternoon but the big story is the rain that continues through the 
the evening hours. Then I think it ends shortly after midnight, tempering to a drizzle. So by Thursday morning, just mainly cloudy, just large puddles. Temperatures in the 50s, pretty mild, and maybe close to 60 tomorrow afternoon if we see some sun. But I think we'll see a lot of clouds. Now, Friday is not a bad day. We're in between systems. We have about a 24 to 36 hour break from the rain, but we're going to see a lot of clouds building in on Saturday. Here comes the rain later on in the day into the evening. It could be heavy Saturday night on into early Sunday, and then it's out of here. And then the rest of Sunday may not actually be that bad. And then cold and dry, and we finally start to quiet things down. No more storms after that. As far as the rain today, some places well over an inch, maybe up to an inch and a half of rain. And then by tomorrow morning, many areas flirting with two inches of rain. And then we tack on Saturday's rain, which will get us close to, well, almost three inches with all these rounds of rain. Paul Davis, seven day forecast, yellow alert today for the rain. Thursday, 58, mainly cloudy. Friday's a nice day, 54, but then the rain builds in again Saturday into Sunday. Remember, clocks go ahead one hour for daylight saving time. Yellow alert on Sunday, then we dry it out early next week. Great time to win an umbrella. Congratulations, Kathy Sobel from Ocean City. You have a new umbrella, courtesy of Paul Davis and Coast TV. Bob, also don't forget, Coast TV has a new Facebook page. For the latest in your news, exclusive content, and interactive discussions, visit and follow our new page. You can do that by going to facebook.com slash Coast TV NBC or scan the QR code on your screen to stay connected with us. Milton has voted against a change to town code, which would have declared plants like English ivy and bamboo as nuisances in the town. These two plants can be found spreading throughout the town, creeping through backyards and climbing high in trees. Ultimately, concerns from people who live in town knocked down this change. This measure would have built on a change to state law that took place two years ago, which bans the sale of the import of dozens of invasive species. What well, next on Coast TV News today? Building bigger garages. We'll tell you the details of the new regulation officials are discussing in Ocean City. We'll be right back. Cheers to 50 years of the players. Here's to the jaw dropping eagles, 60 foot birdies, and that one pesky seagull. Here's to making an entrance. Making a statement. It's not a shot you practice. And making a splash. All the PGA Tour's gold standard, the Players' Championship on NBC and Peacock. NBC News Daily, weekdays at 1 on Coast TV. Take your seat for the 8th Annual Ocean City Film Festival, March 7th through 10th. Enjoy 100 independent films and meet the people who made them. We're welcoming the legendary John Waters, live on stage with his Hairspray movie at the Ocean City Performing Arts Center on March 9th. Tickets start at just $59. Come on down and stay in an oceanfront hotel room starting at only $89 per night. Discover how to fest and get your passes at ocndfilmfestival.com. On the next Cameron Hall, it's the health trend that has everyone talking. Is gut health really the key to better skin, better sleep, and a better mood? We talk to science. I want you to put some pink in there. That's what happens when you have those pepperoni pizza with extra pepperoni. The home remedies and the hottest new gut trends. So this is my viral lemon olive oil elixir. I'm regular, okay? On the next Cameron Hall. Wednesday at 3 on Coach TV. Take the DSN app with you wherever you go and never miss a game from your favorite local team. Whether you're on the road, stuck at the office, or out with friends and family, the DSN app notifies you when your team is on live so you can watch the game as it happens or watch videos on demand. Keep up with local sports all from one app. From your mobile device to Fire Stick, Roku, and Apple TV, download the DSN app today. Driven by Preston Automotive Group. This year, we invest in ourselves and each other. We intersect across many identities and celebrate our experiences. We inspire and elevate the voices of all women. Women's history. Invest. Intersect. Inspire. We are Building bigger garages. That's what the Ocean City Council and Planning Commission wants to see. 
The group has advanced a proposal that focuses on increasing the dimensions of enclosed parking spaces on lots more than 50 feet wide. Right now, the requirement is 10 feet by 21 feet. This new regulation would bump that up to 12 feet by 24 feet. Some of the council and planning commission members believe that making this change will add for more space for cars to stay inside their garages, as well as leaving room for more storage space. The proposed changes to garage parking spaces in Ocean City now headed for a first reading with a more detailed outline of what those changes might look like. Due to the rain expected today, Milford officials have rescheduled its electric vehicle charging station ribbon cutting that was originally set for today. The city says the new date is slated for this Friday at noon. The city is celebrating new EV charging stations being added to Northeast Front Street. The plan aims to improve downtown foot traffic and support travelers on Routes 1 and 113. This is being paid for by the Denrec DC Fast Vehicle Charging Station Grant Program through the Volkswagen Mitigation Settlement Fund that was launched in early 2022. We bring back First Alert meteorologist Bob Trahe and what is shaping up to be not a great day to be out on the beach. I don't know how else to say it. You know, but I, th I think anytime you're near the coast, our beautiful beaches, it's always a nice day that they're close by. But yeah, out there and about, we've got two rounds of weather hazards on the way. We've got the fog early on. Watch out for that's dense early. And then the rain builds in. That will tend to lift the fog. Ocean City and Fenwick Island, well, beginning right around 50 degrees. And then in the low to mid 50s, that rain is steady to heavy as we go through the day. And the same for Lewis. The rain will take a little longer to get to you, probably about 8 or 9 a.m. But then the rain builds in steady to heavy at times and we're looking at temperatures into the 50s. We get a little break towards the end of the week with more rain into this upcoming weekend. I'll talk about that in your forecast uh, more in detail coming up in a few minutes. Uh, thank you so much. Also coming up after the break, Ocean City Police Department announces its radio transmissions will be switched to a more private system. We'll tell you what the agency says sparked this change. Also Delaware Governor John Carney gave his final state of the state address speech was not about drama, however. We'll show you and tell you what took place and what Carney says is to come for Delaware. And Super Tuesday Sweep will tell you the details of yesterday's primaries and the predictions for November's presidential election. Coast TV News Today will be right back. The Car Store Certified Advantage 12 month 12,000 mile powertrain warranty, windshield protection, paintless dent repair, and roadside assistance. Just one more reason why we are Delmarva's premier pre owned outlet. TheCarStoreOnline.com. You ready for this? We are gathered here today to celebrate the union of Casey and Sylvie Brett. No matter how far you go, we will always be your home. You okay treating your old buddy? He has lung cancer, but he won't get treatment. I'm trying to leave, man. Move! He's been missing three hours. The MO matches the previous abductions. Oi! Who the hell are you? Chicago Wednesday, new tonight on NBC and Peacock. Solar is a legacy you will pass on to future generations. So choose a local company with the skills and expertise to do it right. Sunrise Solar is your complete solar energy solution offering interactive systems for farming and industrial. The Sunrise team has the knowledge, training, and certifications necessary to build the best solar unit for your needs. With a 25-year panel production warranty. Call today about financing and low monthly payments. Sunrise Solar, powering your future. Stay ahead of our ever-changing coastal climate with the Coast TV First Alert Weather Team. From the early morning to the late evening, our team is always at work to deliver the accurate forecasts you need. Whether bracing for a stormy day or enjoying a peaceful indoor moment, we're here to ensure you're fully prepared for Delmarva's diverse weather patterns. The Coast TV First Alert Weather Team. With us, the weather is more than a forecast. It's a part of life. The great thing about trucks is their versatility. The great thing about the truck store is we've got the trucks you're looking for. From the work site to the clubhouse, heavy cargo to precious cargo. Find your next truck at the truck store. MyTruckStoreOnline.com This is Coast TV News Today. March 6, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, Paige. Good morning. It's not too bad of a morning, everybody. I'm Paige Marley. Yeah, it's not too bad. You're here. I'm here. Bob's here. It's 529. Be moving on 530 on this Wednesday. Hey, yeah. if you like your weather wet, sure. this is the week for you. Maybe sometimes. 
But maybe not so many times in a row. Yeah. That's what's I, I, getting me. I, not, but the in a row part. That's what it that's is. That's what we're maybe stuck up yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I did ask Bob during the commercial break, like, hey, so when is this going to stop? And he was like, Sunday? So maybe that's good news. Maybe it's sooner than you thought. I don't know. Yeah. Sorry if it's later than you thought, but let's bring in Bob right now. Bob, this is a lot of rain. Yeah. You know, the, good the good news is it's not continuous between now and Sunday. We have breaks in between, so that's really preventing any major flooding, so that's good. Out ahead of the rain, it is fog. It's foggy out there, a mile and a half in fog in Georgetown, only three quarters of a mile in Ocean City, a mile and a quarter in Salisbury, so you know the drill. Low beam headlights, take it slow. Leave a lot of extra space between you and the car ahead of you. As we have the clouds and fog, here comes the rain creeping up Delmar. Marble right now from Chincoteague down to Cape Charles. We have the rain more that rain extends into North Carolina, but that's only one little piece of the system and a big blob of rain farther across the Tennessee Valley with low pressure there. 40s to around 50 out the door, so bundle up and also make sure yeah, you have all your rain gear as we're looking at the rain advancing in from the south. Yellow and orange areas indicating the heavier rain and the red areas indicating really heavy rain, possibly close to lunchtime as we'll see more of that rain. Rain continuing into the afternoon. Your drive cast this morning, I gave it the yellow light as the rain develops from south to north, but through the day, large puddles, maybe some flooding and poor drainage areas, ponding on the roads, and the afternoon commute is messy with steady to heavy rain. Thank you so much. We have some breaking news now this morning. We are getting the results of yesterday's Super Tuesday election contest. Now, President Biden and former President Trump seem to be barreling towards a historic rematch. This after racking up wins on Super Tuesday. GOP rival Nikki Haley has not announced whether or not she plans to stay in the race after only beating Trump in the Vermont primary. Now on the Democratic side, President Biden won in every state that voted yesterday. However, the president currently facing some backlash over his handling of the Israel-Hamas war. That leaves some voters less than excited about deciding between Trump or Biden in a possible rematch. We have an update on early voting in Delaware. The State House of Representatives has introduced an amendment to the Delaware Constitution that would allow for a 10-day early voting period. This is in response to last month's Superior Court decision that ruled early voting in general elections is unconstitutional. The plaintiffs in this case say it was not about the policy, it was about how the policy was enacted. In fact, one of the plaintiffs in the case, minority leader in the Senate, Republican Gerald Hawker, is a sponsor of this amendment in that chamber, along with Republican Senator Brian Pettyjohn of Central Sussex County. Republican Representative Jeff Holosky of the Long Neck Angola area of District 4 is a co-sponsor. Delaware Governor John Carney gave his final State of the State address in Dover on Tuesday, covering everything from education to climate change. Coast TV's Charles Reiner breaks down his address and what it means for the first state. It was the end of an era today at Legislative Hall as Governor Carney gave his final State of the State address. I've learned that the most important thing for an elected official is to earn the trust of the people you represent. They will give you the benefit of the doubt so long as they trust you're trying to do the right thing. If you earn that trust, they will follow you when times are tough and times get tough. In the speech Tuesday afternoon, the governor covered a lot of ground. On climate change, Carney says Delaware is looking to take a leadership role in offshore wind development. Carney also emphasized that in his last year, he wants more focus on education, including upping teachers' starting salaries to $60,000 a year and budgeting $135 million for child care. Sean Toner at Beach Buddies Child Care says he's hoping that money can come down to Sussex County. Kent and Sussex have always kind of been the forgotten counties within Delaware. Um, yes, our population isn't as strong as Newcastle County, but we're just as important. It wasn't all smooth sailing, though. The governor's speech was interrupted multiple times by pro-Palestinian protesters calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. As the saying goes, a good job solves a lot of problems. The disruptions were short-lived and the speech would continue. Here are a few other big takeaways. Carney says there are 31,000 open jobs in Delaware, but only 21,000 people looking for work. He says his goal is to keep those jobs and get people back to work again. The governor also said he's hoping to pass a permit to purchase bill for firearms in this legislative session. Carney ended his address today by thanking all of his colleagues for his past seven years as Delaware's governor, but he made it clear throughout the state of the state today that there's still a lot of work to be done before his term is over. I'm Charles Reiner, Coast TV News.
One of the biggest things Carney spoke about again was education. The governor said one big point of focus for his final year in office is making sure education is at the forefront of lawmakers' minds. According to Carney, over $1.5 billion has been spent on building new Delaware schools in the last seven years, and $135 million is budgeted for child care. Now, again, Beach Buddies Child Care, where they teach young kids, the owner told us he's glad to see the funding coming, and he's looking more to hear about where it'll go in the state. Education, particularly early childhood, is the cornerstone of our economy. If we can't have kids that are being cared for in a safe, loving, caring environment, then we can't have parents to go to work. Now, Carney also added he aims to have teachers beginning salaries raised to $60,000 a year in Delaware. This does bring us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know what issues would you like the next governor to focus on in Delaware? We have a lot of options here. Right now, 43 just changed. 43% of you say you'd like to focus on health care. 28% of you, gun safety. 17% say housing. And then kind of falling behind, 7% of you say marijuana policies. And 5% of you say none of the above. I have some other ideas. Whatever you're thinking, you can still vote. Go to CoastTV.com or you can scan that QR code right there on your screen. We have new information now from the Indian River School District firing back after former Sussex Central Principal Dr. Bradley Layfield issued his closing arguments fighting his suspension and termination. The disagreement involves his suspension from the school following a lawsuit centered around a meme. Yeah, the meme created from a video of a school fight where a former student, uh, Naya Harmon's mm -hmm. breast, was exposed uncensored. On Monday, Layfield's lawyer outlined 10 charges made by the district that he says are either unproven or denied. But now the district says, quote, this case is ending where it began, with Dr. Layfield repeating narratives that are unsworn and unsupported. The district also previously alleged that Layfield had a history of inappropriate behavior and was disciplined for that. Layfield has denied it. A decision by Judge William Carpenter regarding Layfield's termination is expected any day now. We move to Ocean City, where the police department there and the Worcester County law enforcement have switched their radio transmission to a private encrypted system. According to the department, this switch was made on Friday, and this looks to improve public safety by protecting sensitive information shared during police operations like personal details and criminal records. The department says this change follows FBI guidelines to keep data safe and keeps police plans hidden from criminals to help reduce crime. Legislation that would restart in vitro fertilization in Alabama could become a law by tonight or tomorrow. The State House and Senate are poised for votes today. They're in response to a state Supreme Court ruling last month calling a frozen embryo a child. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey says she expects passage and will sign legislation. In the meantime, clinics say they're on hold because they fear civil and criminal penalties. More news to get to. Don't go anywhere. Still coming up this morning, Lewis leaving room for comment. We'll tell you about the ordinances Lewis is discussing and how you can give your opinion. Also, Stephen Decatur attempting to punch their ticket to the high school basketball Maryland Final Four to show you if the Seahawks are continuing to soar. Stay with us on Coast TV News today. We salute Joseph Chester. With a commendable 22 years of dedicated service in the Marine Corps, Joseph has exemplified unwavering commitment and bravery. Following his distinguished military career, he has continued to serve with honor as a Maryland State Police Officer for over 19 years, demonstrating his steadfast dedication to public service and community safety. Spicer Brothers and Coast TV are honoring military persons and first responders serving Delmarva. If you have a family member, friend, or community member that you would like to nominate for a Coast TV salute, go to CoastTVSalutes.com. Elevate your business and engage more customers with Draper Media. Our diverse network of media properties such as WBOC, Coast TV, 93.5 The Beach, and 1025 WBOC reaches over a half a million Delmarva residents across various channels like television, radio, social media, and digital platforms. Enhance your brand's visibility across the Delmarva region with Draper Media. Our passionate team of media specialists and content creators are dedicated to showcasing your brand through engaging commercials, dynamic drone footage, eye-catching graphic and web design, and social media branding. Share your brand's story on our popular programs, capturing the attention of your target audience. 
Trust your brand with Draper Media, a family-oriented company serving the Delmarva community. Contact Frank Hamilton today at fhamilton at wboc.com to get started. Take your seat for the 8th Annual Ocean City Film Festival, March 7th through 10th. Enjoy 100 independent films and meet the people who made them. We're welcoming the legendary John Waters, live on stage with his Hairspray movie at the Ocean City Performing Arts Center on March 9th. Tickets start at just $59. Come on down and stay in an oceanfront hotel room starting at only $89 per night. Discover how to fest and get your passes at ocndfilmfestival.com. Don't miss the free Health, Fitness, and Leisure Expo, March 9th at Cape and Lopen High. Bring the family and tell your friends. Admission is free. A full array of health, fitness, and leisure products, fitness centers, physical therapy, health food, home products and services, and even water sports. BB Healthcare will be providing free health screenings. Don't miss the free Health, Fitness, and Leisure Expo, March 9th, 9 to 4, at Cape and Lopen High. Just about 541. It is a foggy start for some on this Wednesday morning. Dry tech cam. Yeah, you're pretty socked in along the coast. 47. And we're also socked in inland Salisbury. We have a mile and a quarter for you in fog. A mile in Ocean City, a mile and a half in Georgetown. So take it slow. Use those low beam headlights as we are seeing the rain making its way onto the southern part of Del Mar. We're about to move into Shinkantee. It goes down to Cape Charles and then back into areas of eastern North Carolina that continues to advance to the north with another area of low pressure back to the west. So a big blob of rain moving in. So obviously green check marks for the rain gear, umbrella, raincoat, rain boots, pack your patience, watch for flooding, potting on the roads and some of that flooding and poor drainage areas. And you can leave your sunglasses at home today. We've been doing that a lot lately. Call the first alert weather line 443-880-9100. Your forecast just a call away sponsored by Baird, Mandalas, Broxted and Federico. Bob and some traffic news. Shortly Road in Georgetown. We'll be seeing some closures this month for pipe road pipe replacements. Shortly Road between Kings Road and East Piney Grove Road will be closed from March 12th to the 19th and then on March 20th until the 25th. Shortly Road between Alms House Road and Kings Road will be closed for continued pipe replacement. In Salisbury, the Maryland Department of Transportation has launched a $3.3 million project to improve the intersection of Snow Hill Road and Robbins Road. MDOT says it should wrap up this work by the end of the year, and they're looking to create a left turn lane on Snow Hill Road, a new ADA compliant sidewalk, traffic signal, and other upgrades. MDOT asks drivers to be aware of reduced speed limits and driving patterns in this area. The Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Good morning in the 3A East Region Final. Stephen Decatur eyeing their fifth title and taking on Severna Park last night. Early on, big plays for the Seahawks. Tribe Wise with a swipe, and it would be wise to get out of his way. Decatur up 14-11 after the opening quarter. In the second, the Falcons look to Upton Young all night. This time, he buries one of his two triples. On the other end now, the Hawks continue to soar. The shot no good for Wise, but Bryson Coleman is good. And the foul, Decatur up four. Now check out the two-way play from Dave and Chandler. Gets the block on the three. Then the Hawks look to run. Brogan Eastlack pushes and Chandler darts to the bucket. Decatur up 30-20 to 20 at the half. In the second, the Falcons. Let it fly. Brendan Abel hits one of his four threes to cut into the Seahawks lead, but Chandler continued to score at will. Corkscrewing through the traffic, he racked up 23 in this game. Decatur up eight, heading to the fourth. Young back on the case for the Falcons. He dropped 11 of his 27 points in the fourth quarter. And then back come the Seahawks. Check out this vision from Kareen Bolden on a rope to Coleman. And the goggles at the end of it. Steven Decatur rides some big performances from Bolden and Chandler to roll to a 63-55 to win and capture the 3A East region title. That'll do it for sports. Have a great day. A wrestler turned actor has taken one of his characters from film to streaming now to a video game. David Daniel has that and two big screen robots hmm, in today's Hollywood Minute. You Hollywood types are all soft and weak. And he should know. 
John Cena's Peacemaker is a playable character in the video game Mortal Kombat 1. Cena's played the character in live action in the Suicide Squad movie and on his streaming series Peacemaker. Mortal Kombat 1, complete with Cena's voice and likeness, is now available everywhere. Hello, I'm Anthony Daniels and this is part of the costume that I wore in Return of the Jedi. Anthony Daniels is losing his head. He's putting his entire Star Wars collection up for auction next week. Daniels tells The Hollywood Reporter, I had all this stuff, nobody was looking at it, and it was too good to throw away. Info at propstore.com slash auction. Sometimes to survive, we must become more than we were programmed to be. Oscar winner Lupita Nyong'o leads the voice cast of The Wild Robot, about an android shipwrecked on an uninhabited island. The animated adventure about technology, nature, and what it means to be alive, based on the best-selling children's novel, launches in theaters this fall. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Rain is on the way, but ahead of it, we've got the fog in Seaford right now. Tidal Health Cam, much of the area is seeing that fog, so be careful. It is a yellow alert day, and mainly for the rain. It's the second day in a row. A steady to heavy rain is expected today with the last round this weekend. And then it'll dry out next week. I'll time it out on a feature cast coming up after the break. Diabetes has many ill effects. If blood sugar levels are poorly controlled, it can affect your eyes. High or poorly controlled blood sugar levels can affect the tiny blood vessels in the back of your eye. This is called diabetic retinopathy. Symptoms include new floaters, changes in vision, and areas of vision loss. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, or if you're a diabetic and you haven't had a dilated eye exam yet, you need to get one. For more about Chesapeake Eye, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. Purchasing diamond jewelry or any jewelry, remember Robinson's, where we sell only earth-grown diamonds, not the fake lab-created whose values have dropped. Robinson's Jewelers can design or repair any jewelry, as Robinson's is the largest jewelry store on Delmarva with eight jewelers on staff. Although we are known for being coin and clock experts, we want you to know we are the expert jewelers of Delmarva. Chain repairs to ring sizings to custom-made engagement rings, Robinson's is your jewelry expert. To learn more about Robinson's family of business, the coin and jewelry experts, visit Delmarva Experts on WBOC.com. Hey moms, you know those unforgettable face palms? Those moments that leave us both laughing and sighing. They're not just mishaps, they're our shared stories. Share your unique mom moments with us. Go to coastlife.com slash mom. Spring is here, signaling the perfect time to rejuvenate your lawn. Trust the knowledgeable staff at Johnson Seed and Feed to prepare your yard this season. Our lawn checklist, high-quality seasonal fertilizers, and premium grass seeds ensure a beautiful and healthy lawn throughout the summer. Don't miss out on our Dunn Bar, where you can craft your own spring arrangement. Choose your decorative pot to add vibrant flowers or lush green plants to elevate your outdoor space. Be the envy of your neighborhood and enjoy your lawn with Johnson's Seed and Feed. Give it up for our coaches! For the first time, we have more than one country coach. I'm just going to beat them anyways. <laughs> the Voice, new Monday and Tuesday on NBC and Peacock. It is 547 on your Wednesday morning. We are going to take a live look right now at Salisbury. We saw fog about a half hour ago. Fog is still there, Bob, and the rain. Is that going to kind of clear it out? I guess it's yes. two evils. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, yeah, the rain is good clearing out the fog because the rain gets heavier and it tends to lift the fog the heavier the rain gets. But the rain is still to our south, so we still are dealing with the fog. And make sure you scan the QR code right there. Get your phone in camera mode. It's important to have the Coast TV weather app all the time, but especially during foggy times and stormy times. Today is a yellow alert day, so make sure you have that. Mile and a quarter in fog in Salisbury, one mile in Ocean City, a mile and a half in Georgetown. But once again, as that rain starts advancing north like it is now, that will tend to lift the fog. And we're seeing that creeping up. It's up into Chincoteague right now, and it stretches all the way from there right down 13 to Cape Charles, the Bridge Tunnel, uh, the Hampton Roads area around Norfolk there in the rain, and then the eastern part of North Carolina. And all this is shifting to the north, but that's one little piece of the system. The actual low pressure is back here across Alabama and Georgia. Look at this big slug of rain through Tennessee into South Carolina with thunderstorms there. So 
all this mess is heading our way, prompting that yellow alert day. We've got 40s to around 50 in Del Mar now, 48 in Georgetown, 49 in Milton. So a little chilly out there, but not too bad as the winds are coming in out of the south and east, increasing the moisture. Here comes the rain and it will start to get steady and then heavy later this morning. You start getting into the orange and reds and we could be looking at some local flooding as we go into the afternoon, especially in poor drainage areas. A lot of ponding on the roads. Here's 330 temperatures in the 40s and 50s. We still have the rain. It'll be varying in intensity as we go through the evening hours. Then it should actually shut off very early Thursday and then just cloudy and kind of drizzly into Thursday morning. I have lifted the alerts for Thursday as it's mainly cloudy, a slow drying process with temperatures into the 50s. I think Friday is a little better, but the clouds quickly increase as we go through your Friday and then more rain builds in later Saturday, Saturday night. I know you have big plans for Saturday night. Ooh, it's going to be wet. We're looking at some heavier rain until early Sunday with another yellow alert day, but that's the last in the series of storms. It's just cold and breezy after that up to at least an inch and a half of rain as we go into this evening for many areas and then we'll tack on some more rain by Thursday morning. So some places close to two inches or maybe a little bit above and then the system Saturday into Sunday that brings more rain. So a grand total of well, maybe over three inches for some Paul Davis seven day forecast yellow alert today for the rain 58 and cloudy Thursday, maybe a little bit of sun more sun Friday 54 and then the rain builds in again for Saturday, especially later Saturday. Saturday night gets heavy. Make sure the clocks go ahead one hour and the rain ends early Sunday. It is a yellow alert day. And then we finally dry it out next week with 50s and more sunshine. Thanks, Bob. And for more weather updates, once again, Bob just mentioned it, but make sure to pull out your phones and scan that QR code for our first alert weather app. You can download the app for free to get all the weather updates you need. Lewis now accepting comments following a public hearing held on Monday. City officials want your input on three ordinances they're trying to pass. Those ordinances include changing the city's outdoor noise rules. They want to allow restaurants to play background music, but not live music. A new rule to update zoning laws that would clearly define what materials are allowed to have water passage. And a new rule to protect trees during building construction. The city says those comments are due by March 22nd. Still ahead on Coast TV News today, a family vacation turning tragic. We'll show you what happens to this father of two and how doctors saved his life in an unusual way. We'll be right back. Solar is a legacy you will pass on to future generations. So choose a local company with the skills and expertise to do it right. Sunrise Solar is your complete solar energy solution offering interactive systems for farming and industrial. The Sunrise team has the knowledge, training, and certifications necessary to build the best solar unit for your needs. With a 25-year panel production warranty. Call today about financing and low monthly payments. Sunrise Solar, powering your future. Look who's cooking for Sussex County Habitat for Humanity. Volunteer chefs from local realtors compete for the best appetizers, entrees, and desserts, and you can try them all. It's an evening of tasty treats, raffles, and door prizes at the St. Jude Parish Center on March 21st at 6 p.m. in Lewis. For more information about the event and to get your tickets, go to sussexcountyhabitat.org. We'll see you, Delmarva, at the Luku's Cooking Challenge, March 21st in Lewis. From inside Iran, from Israel, from Florida, from Lewiston, Maine. Part of our continued reporting. This is what a country in war looks like. Women, children. What is it like? Countless neighborhoods across the region that look just like this. Everybody good? It took for all this damage to return. It's now or never. Two dead bodies in the name of free speech. Nobody needs to die today. This girl was targeted. Are you coming to see my right daughter? When you're undercover, one mistake and it's all over. Can I go home now? That's not how this works. Law and Order Thursday on NBC and Peacock. Hi everybody, good morning, welcome to today. Every day. We are adding to the star power in our studio. The biggest names, only on today. You guys are pretty good today. <laughs> Stick around, y'all. These guys are going to be back. We work here now. We're coming in this early, right? We got Olivia Rodrigo. 
We're just getting started, folks. This is Scarlett. She would like to direct the show. Can we go to commercial break now? Everything and everyone you're talking about, only on Today. Imagine being out in the country and needing life-saving surgery. It happened to one dad while on vacation with his two young boys. Yeah, it turns out the sun and the fun combined with the heat and exhaustion, it added up to a perfect storm. Marty Salt shows us what happened and how one young father ended up in brain surgery awake and talking to surgeons. Nico, he's my musical type of guy. Alec is my athletic side. Both boys are Fernando Vera's reason for living. And that was never more clear than last Father's Day when the family was on vacation in the Dominican Republic. And I entered the arcade, I started twitching on my left side, and then I bit my tongue to bleed and foam up and slowly fell down. Fernando felt like he was leaving his body. You're like, no, but wait a minute, I can't I can't leave Nico and Alec. Like, are you kidding me? God, like I need to get back in there, you know, I can't, I'm not ready. Rushed to the ER and then flown back to Miami, Fernando was diagnosed with a cerebral vascular malformation. Which is a collection of blood vessels that creates a ball. And those uh, collection of blood vessels can cause bleeding or in the brain or seizures. Neurosurgeon Robert Stark says each time Fernando had a bleed, the more likely he would have another, causing more damage to his brain each time. His best option? surgery to remove it. If we do this surgery awake, I'm able to stimulate those areas to carefully identify where are the speech centers and where are the seizures coming from. This is video of Fernando's surgery. A resident is keeping the conversation going with him for hours. We use a huge microscope that's bigger than, you know, all of us put together to make a tiny opening and go in and remove this malformation. The surgery was a success. Fernando went home two days later and hasn't had a seizure since. I'm Marty Salt reporting. It's now 5.56, time to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day. All right on your screen right now is a very royal companion, the Duchess of Aww. Sussex, or Duchess for short, rules over her household like a queen. But of course, she always leaves room for a fun game of catch. Looks like she has a ball there. Aww. It's her favorite ball in the picture. Duchess was sent to us by Sonia. Such a sweet picture and keep sending us those. We want to see your pets on Delmarva. Send us photos and tell us what makes your pet so special. Right, you can scan that QR code that you see at the top right hand corner in the middle there of your screen. And that way you can submit your furry friends to Coast TV News and then to watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all of the pets we feature. So, most 557, time for a quick look at your forecast before you head out your door. Yeah, we're working on another yep. Yellow Alert Weather Day page, and Bob. Yep. Yeah, you know, you know, if you want to have that dog walk dry, do it before 7 because after that, all bets are off. But we are seeing the fog. It's dense early on, then that fog will lift as the rain builds in this morning. It gets steady to heavy into the afternoon with temperatures into the 50s. It is a yellow alert day for ponding on the roads, a heavier rain into today and tonight. And your 10 day Paul Davis forecast 58 Thursday took down the alert for that day as it's drying out sunshine Friday, then more rain into the weekend, especially later Saturday into Sunday clocks go ahead one hour and then this is the best news of all. It starts chilly early next week, but then it's getting nice. Nice taste of spring with 60s beginning Wednesday.